Hi, my name is Brooke. I got Rosie, Sab and Amy with me and we are the Hockey Roots. What is something about your sport not many people know? You can only use one side of your stick. Nice! That's, classy. Nice. That's classy, Lordo, nice. And you can only score inside the circle. Who is the most intimidating when they're in the zone? I'd say Jane. Oh, definitely Jane or Renee, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Renee. Jane, yes, definitely Jane. Yeah. She's the kind of girl that you want on your team, but you never want to be playing against her because yeah, she just goes right. above and beyond to do anything to win. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the biggest joker on the team? I mean... <laughs> no, I don't want to say you. I mean, I'm not myself. <laughs> like, I'll get the girls to it. <laughs> I'd yeah, say Rosie, myself. but I think she also is very good at vocalising other people's jokes just louder and then, yeah, claims it as her own. <laughs> well, if you don't say it loud enough and it's funny, obviously I'm going to take your content. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the best post win celebration? So I would say Mariah. She does this like, it's like she loses all bodily functions and she does this like, like, yes, she <laughs> does. Weird yeah. 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 yeah, I would say that's one of my favourites to watch. How did you get involved in your sport? Um, I was a middle child, so I just followed my siblings, my one sibling. So whatever sport they played, I was right behind them. Uh, I was advertised in my school newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the first hook into hockey session and uh, yeah, loved it. But both my friends played at school, but um, in Zimbabwe where they're from, it's not very big. Who is most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse? Oh. I will. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'll survive. I will survive. Well, we, we've often said that, like, to survive, if it was just us, like, on the team, that we would, like, sacrifice Steph Kershaw and then eat her calf muscles to live <laughs> off her, all the muscle that she has. What is your first memory of your sport? It was under 10's grand final. Ooh. And then I was like, mum was like, if you play really well, if you win, you can get a puppy. I'll take you to the store, you pick <laughs> out a puppy. All I could think about was scoring three goals so I could get this puppy. And then I did. <laughs> and it was love at first sight. And it was 15 years of a beautiful love. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Yeah. What or who inspires you? I guess who inspires me at this moment is probably everyone in my team. I think everyone that brings up something where I want to have and Sab's probably good one where she is so grateful for everything and something that I want to bring into my own life where you take the moments and you are grateful for these type of moments and to really live in these moments and to share them and make sure that they're special because in 10 years time when we look back we're going to be very grateful for this opportunity that we have and um, so I take a little bit each from my teammates and I try to make sure that I live in my own life.